from a failed demolition in Brazil that sent this massive water tower rolling toward parked cars, and another in Missouri that sent debris flying towards spectators, to the collapse of a poorly constructed tower in India that left 20 villages without water, and a perfectly executed demolition in Red Oak, Texas you'll wish you were there to see. Here are 10 water tower collapses caught on camera. Giadema is a city in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's a densely populated area, with about 500,000 people living in just 12 square miles. That'd be like stuffing the population of Atlanta, Georgia into Lowell, Massachusetts. Now, This is all to say that when workers fumble a simple demolition job, it can have dire consequences. On August 23rd of 2020, technicians were working to demolish this old concrete water tower. Then, something went terribly wrong. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when this beast started rolling. Imagine you're there to watch a routine demolition. Then the next thing you know, you're running for your life. The rolling water tower left a massive dust cloud in its wake. It also did a number on the parked cars nearby. According to Brazilian officials, there was a problem with the demo team's paperwork. They weren't supposed to keep working on the water tower, but kept going anyway. But we can't say for sure what exactly happened. A woman living across the street saw people running and began filming the collapse. She said the demo crew didn't stop or reroute traffic while preparing the water tower. They're lucky nobody was driving or walking by when it fell. Windsor is a small town in central Missouri, about 90 minutes southeast of Kansas City. On April 21st of 2009, a small crowd gathered to watch an old landmark come toppling down. They never expected a small dirt tsunami and one of the most interesting sounds you'll ever hear. Oh my god. Oh my god, that, that was like, freaking amazing. You can see a plug flying off the top when the tower smacks the ground. All the trapped air rushed through the hole, making what sounded like low-pitched whale noises. The tower also obliterated a small hill when it landed. Chunks of grass came pretty close to our spectators. When the camera zooms in, you can see bits of dirt plastered on the side of the trailer. Saranga is a small village in northeastern India and one of the most arid zones in the Bengal region. Water is scarce, so water tower disasters can leave many people fighting for hydration. On January 22nd of 2022, locals noticed something wrong with the community water tower. The overhead reservoir held 700 cubic meters of water, or about 180,000 gallons, and supplied 20 other villages. A local farmer noticed bits of concrete falling off the tower around 3 p.m. 30 minutes later, it was gone. Our farmer claims he could feel the ground shaking as the water tower weakened. He and the other locals got far enough away to record the disaster without getting hurt. But what happened? How does a water tower fall on its own? Well, poor construction was the primary suspect. 
The brand new tower had just gone up about four years prior. It also cost the Indian government 1.65 billion rupees, or just under 20 million dollars. There was no reason other than shoddy construction that it came crashing down. Pulling down old water towers is common practice all around the world. They're not usually big enough to warrant high explosives. Take this tower in Baruch, India, for example. On March 1st of 2020, a group of guys rigged their tractor to the top of the old tower. Apparently, the driver didn't feel too comfortable when it finally came down. <laughs> now, we don't blame him for running. It's obviously better to be safe than sorry. In hindsight, it may have been safer to stay in the tractor. If anything, he might have gotten a little dust on his nice shirt. Red Oak is a small city in Ellis County, Texas. They're only about 20 miles south of downtown Dallas. Now, if you live in Ellis County, you might get your water from the Rockette Special Utility District. You've probably seen their water towers around the area. Maybe you were there on May 1st of 2018, when demo crews cut the legs out from under one. Is it just us, or did that water tower fall like the aliens in War of the Worlds? You can't appreciate how massive these things are until you're standing beside one. Look at how big that tank is compared to the guys taking pictures next to it. Now, we're not sure why Rocket chose to tear this tower down. We imagine they'd already invested in a new one, and it was time to say goodbye to the old. According to one source, they had already built a bigger one as housing developments emerged in the growing city. Sofronio Española is a small town located on the island of Palawan in the Philippines. It's one of the newest towns on the island, having been established in 1995. That means there are still plenty of new things to build, like schools, stores, and giant water towers above hospitals. On October 4th of 2021, crews worked all day to move a massive water tank into place. They hooked it up to a crane and slowly inched it towards its final destination. Someone must have miscalculated somewhere because this crane clearly wasn't big enough. Usually, when we see falling water towers, it's during demolition or deconstruction. This was the polar opposite. This was a brand new water tower that needed a little extra push. Unfortunately, it was just too heavy. The crane couldn't support the weight, and it crashed clean through the hospital. We believe the hospital is behind that hollowed out structure. It was probably part of the building with the green roof in the background. Thankfully, the facilities were closed on Sunday, so nobody was inside when the water tower fell. The only person who got hurt was the crane operator, who injured his thumb during the collapse. The Hanford site is a decommissioned nuclear production plant in Washington state. It was built in 1943 as part of the Manhattan Project and made plutonium for use in atomic weapons. The site covered 500 square miles along the Columbia River and produced literal tons of radioactive waste and material. All that gunk eventually seeped into the land and water, 
prompting the Hanford site's decommissioning in the 1960s. Some of the last structures to go were the water towers built in case of a fire. On March 2nd of 2010, workers pulled the final tower to the ground. It's a little ironic, isn't it? Spraying the water tower with water? They obviously empty these water towers before tearing them down. Most of them haven't been operational in a long time anyway. Taking down these towers was part of a cleanup effort along the Columbia River. The NOAA was worried that nuclear waste had already contaminated the surrounding area. While it wasn't a direct threat to people, the fish, wildlife, and their habitats were in grave danger. If you're a fan of the show, you know all about Ozark, Missouri. It's a small town in southern Missouri known for its springs, waterfalls, lakes, caves, and caverns. For 56 years, people arriving in Ozark via Highway 65 were greeted by a 150,000-gallon water tower. You'd know it if you saw it. There was a giant paw print decal representing the high school's mascot, Ozzy, from the Ozark Tigers. But in early February of 2020, the old Tiger Tower came crashing down. Yeah, break it before it comes down. No, there it goes. I'll be down. They can come down like that. <laughs> it did come down. Plenty of people gathered to watch the old Tiger Tower fall. As people get closer, you get a real sense of how big it is. One guy gets a little too close, and it looks like a worker is running to stop him. But he winds up taking a picture instead. This was the first of two giant water towers taken down in February of 2020. Ozark was moving on plans to modernize and upgrade the city's water system. Water towers like these are held in place by massive bolts about the size of your forearm. Workers remove the bolts and then tackle the tower like a tree to take it down. They cut away one side of the base so it falls in the intended direction. Then they use a tractor and steel tow cable to pull it over. Dublin is a prominent suburb in the northwest corner of Columbus, Ohio. They're known for hosting the annual Dublin Irish Festival, a three-day celebration of Irish culture that is supposed to be the largest in the world. Two months after the 2011 festival, another crowd gathered to say goodbye to a Dublin icon, the Post Road Water Tower. The million-gallon tower had served as a Dublin landmark since 1982. On September 26th of 2011, a small crowd waved goodbye to the old Post Road Tower. Six years after this tower went up, the city built a two million gallon water tower on Avery Road. They worked well together, supplying water to Dublin for almost 30 years. However, the city was growing, and they needed to upgrade their water game. They built another two million gallon tank nearby and didn't need this one anymore. Now what happens after you bring down a massive tower like this? According to local reports, demo crews spent the next five days cutting the tower into pieces. Those pieces were hauled to a local steel scrapyard where they were likely recycled into something else. Water towers come in all shapes and sizes. Take this old school model that finally reached the end of its life. 
May 23rd of 2012 marked its last day on Earth. Demo crews rigged the tower with cables attached to two backhoes. All it took was a little pull to bring it down. Damn. There goes this tower. Timber! Woo! Nice! It looks like a bug crawling across the ground at first, doesn't it? We imagine bringing down these old-school water towers doesn't take much. Welded steel designs like this one have been popular for over a hundred years. We'll probably be seeing fewer of these as technology evolves. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.